Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I recently got a comment um, that Emerald was way too skinny. Uh, so I wanted to make a quick video um, explaining um, how Emerald looks right now. Um, whenever they bask, whenever tree monitors bask, they tend to flatten themselves out like a pancake, just like Emerald is doing right now. So he can look like he's very thin, but he's actually not. What he's doing, he's extending his ribs out, which you can see right here on the sides, and flattening himself out now. Um, the reason that they do this is so that they have a larger surface area to absorb the heat that's coming off of this uh, heat bulb right now. Um, but if you ever did want to know if your pet lizard is too thin, there are some things that you can look for. And I'm going to show you right now the most important thing to look for is actually their tail base. Which I'll try to show you right now. I know, Emerald. I'm bothering you. Alrighty, so let's look at this tail base here. Notice how Emerald has a really thick tail base. Right? There's no bones sticking out of his tail, and it looks really thick. Um, this is because on lizards, their tail base is actually a big fat reserve where they store fat. They also store fat in other areas, but this is actually the best indicator. Because sometimes, you know, like when you are at the pet store or you might be at like a reptile show and you're looking at lizards, you know, if the person who's selling the lizards have just fed the lizard, you know, they can look like they have a fat belly and they can look like they're, you know, good weight but that's actually not a good indicator because their fat reserve on the tail is the best thing to look at because the fat is not going to change overnight. So as you can see here, like I'm pointing out, like right here in this area, if he did not have a good fat reserve, there would be bones sticking out on this side and also on the other side here. So you would actually see bones protruding on either side here. But as you can see, Emerald is actually kind of a little fatty because you can't see any bones sticking out at all. Um, another good indicator is the size of their, their legs here. You see how this looks kind of meaty? This is good. You want the lizard to be having these meaty looking limbs, not skinny or indented um, you want them to look kind of chunky on the limbs here. And then another indicator is actually on their head. Right here at the temples. I don't know if you guys can see this. They're actually kind of protruding from the sides. They're like puffed out here. Now in reptiles that are not a good weight, those actually be sunken in a little bit. And they won't be protruding here with like this meaty area here. I'm sorry, Emerald. I know, I'm messing with you. You want to come out, don't you? Yeah, so see, now that he's not basking, you can see that his stomach is quite solid. He doesn't look as thin anymore. Huh, Emerald. You are such a pretty boy. Aren't you? Yeah, so see there you can kind of see how on the top of his head right there, the tumbles kind of puff out like right here. I know, buddy. You don't like me messing with that. Anyway, so I just thought I'd make a quick vid um, explain that. Oh, also tree monitors. Uh, tree monitors are different than some of the other monitor species. So you can see they have like really long, thin bodies. Um, which is different from most other monitors. They're not quite as stocky. That's just how they're built because they're uh, up in the trees all the time and they have to be very agile to move through the trees quickly like that. Huh, Emerald. He's so adorable. Anyway, so that's it for now.